Hi everyone. Welcome in this video we will guide you through the installation of the learner online learning and tutor marketplace on cPanel. First download the learner project files from Code Canyon. Once download is complete, you will have a zip package containing everything you need. This package includes learner.zip which contains Laravel project and documentation.zip file which includes the project documentation. Next, after that, you will have to log in in the cPanel just like that. You need to navigate to the file manager, then navigate to the root directory to, in which you need to install the learner. Just like I have to install the in this root directory. Next, you need to upload the learner.zip file as you have downloaded from Code Canyon. So, for the upload, you need to click on this upload button. When we click on this button, we will see this screen and we need to select the file. Just like I have learner.zip file here, I will upload it. Now, we have uploaded the learner.zip file successfully. Now, get back to the our directory. So, here is our directory we need to extract that learner.zip file. Now, extraction is complete and you will see all the project group folders here. After that, we need to create our database user database and we need to assign the privileges. For that, you can go to the again to the root cPanel here. We can see all the um, options here. So, we need to find the database MySQL databases. So, just open it. So, here we have to we need to create a new database for our project. So, just I need I name it no, learner. So click on create database. So learner dot Fuzilo dot underscore learner is our database is created. Just save it anywhere you want. After that we need to create a new user for our database. So here we can create a new user. So Zillow is the username for from our cPanel. Just uh, I can assign here as just okay. Okay, choose the strong password now. Now, as I am going to generate a password from here, I am trying to generate password here. So let's choose a simple password just like this. So I'll choose a password. So I have copied the password and I have pasted the password on both fields here. Just click on the create user. Now the database user will be created. So just copy the username. Just like here I have copied the database name. Here is the database name. So here I have password. Here just copy it and paste it here. We'll use it to configure our environment file of project. Just uh, make sure these are on a safe file. So go back. We have created the database and we have created the user. Now we need to assign the user to the database. So we have this user, this database, and we need to assign our user to our database. Sorry. This is the place we have our user here so here is we have database just add it this will ask us to provide the privileges just click on all and make changes perfect now go back now you'll see here our user will have or database will have assigned our user now you need to go back to the project files so here you need to edit this env file let me do edit 
in. You need to scroll a bit and you will find the database connection here. You just need to update the DB credentials here. Just like here I'll update the username and password according to just we created. Here is the database name. Here is the database user based on the database username. Here we have the password. Just copy and paste it accordingly. Click on save. Now close the file. So here we have the updated env file. Now, now we need to create .htxs file to redirect our domain to the public directory folder. For that we'll need the documentation. So here in documentation there is a guide for how we can create. First just we need to copy that code from the documentation. Just copy and go back to the cPanel. Just create a file. Name it as .ht access just like that and create a new file has been created here we can find it just click on right click and just edit edit so paste the code we have copied from the documentation make sure no spaces it will look better so after removing these spaces save close so here we'll have the htxs file now we need to install all the prerequisites so i'll go to the my domain type install after slash here it will take us to the installer so here you can say the welcome to the setup wizard we'll click on the next step so you will see the exactly the username, database and the password here that we have pasted from the env. So we just don't need to update it. If you need to update it, you can, but uh, we are good to go. Click on the next step. So here you will find all the prerequisites here, requirements for the server. So these all needs to be green so we can uh, go through all the basic steps. So, the, we need to click on the next step. All good. So, after that, you need to check the permissions. If not, you will have, you'll have to change the permissions from the folder wise. Here, just like here, you can change the permissions. So, accordingly. So, all the permissions should be 0, 75. So, we are good. Click on the next step. So, we'll see the database migration so it is the basically the migrate and import demo content so if you want to import the demo content and migration so you'll need the uh, to click on the next step it will do what it will do it will uh, put all the data uh, of demo content which is uh, uh, also required to you as well so click on the next step Yeah, you have to do this one by one step. So, database is migrated, site settings are imported. Now, I have to import the page and layout. Just click on the next again. So, now we need to import the sample student's data. If you want, you can just click on the next. So, So we have imported just when as you need. If you need to import the samples to tutors data, you can click on the next step. So we are all good. Just click on the next step. So click here. Just we have finished all the import of our prerequisites, permissions, uh, demo content, and your installation is complete now. Click here to exit. yeah so after finishing you just need to redirect to your domain and you will see this art is working and you can also install through composer installation if you know how it is you can just go to your cli and just need to run this command 
uh, here are properly uh, given all the commands and connections of queue and everything you just need to do that thank you so much